Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and in this video I'm going to talk about AM radio and its future. The FCC is proposing a rule that would allow AM radio stations to shut off their analog signal and go exclusively digital, similar to the digital TV transition of 2009. Why is this rule change being proposed? If it goes through, will this be the end of AM radio as we know it? I'll let you know in this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications. This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't bulge out or fold in your pocket like those old wallets do. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. The Ridge Wallet has over 30,000 five-star reviews and comes with a lifetime warranty. Make this the last wallet you will ever have to purchase. Get 10% off by going to ridge.com forward slash antenna man and type in the keyword antenna man at the checkout. Now back to the main subject of this video. AM radio is very historic in the United States. I'm sure many of you grew up in a time when AM radio ruled the airwaves, discovering hot new songs on radio stations like WABC, WLS, and KHJ. People do still listen to AM radio today. So why is the FCC making a proposal that would allow AM radio stations to shut off their current analog signal, making most radios obsolete? Unlike the digital TV transition of 2009, the FCC is not selling the AM band to cell phone companies. The cell phone companies don't want it anyway. Instead, the proposal is to help radio stations that are suffering. What exactly is the problem with AM radio? Well, there are a few things. The audio quality is horrible. It picks up interference from pretty much everything. Smaller AM stations have to power off at night. And the list goes on. While there are some people who still listen to AM radio, the numbers are low. Just take a look at the most recent radio ratings in Philadelphia. Besides one news and talk station, the rest of the AM stations have very low ratings. To add to this problem, AM radio has an older audience that isn't supported by most advertisers. To explain this in a few sentences, understand that most advertisers that advertise on radio and TV target people between the ages of 18 and 54. Groups older than that are generally a tough sell, and combine that low revenue with low ratings and high maintenance costs, many AM radio stations across the country are suffering. Some are even going off the air for good. One AM radio station in my area couldn't even find a buyer, so they sold the land that the transmitters were on to a local school district. A few years ago, the FCC began a plan known as AM revitalization, where they gave AM radio stations the option of launching an FM translator. This has definitely helped some stations, but I noticed it also resulted in certain stations brand themselves under the FM translator frequency and sort of leaving the AM frequency in the dark. So you'll see a station that may broadcast on 98.5 and 670 AM. You'll just hear them say 98.5 and they won't mention 670 or whatever AM frequency they're on because there really aren't that many people listening to it. Looking at the AM band as a whole, it doesn't look good for the long term. While there are some listeners now, and yes, I know some of you will comment saying how much you love AM radio and it's great and it's not going anywhere, consider the fact in about 20 or 30 years as my generation reaches the upper end of the age that most advertisers will still support on AM, very few people will be listening at that time. Seriously, when was the last time you saw someone under the age of 50 listen to AM radio on a daily basis? You see teenagers and millennials putting their phones down and getting transistor radios or listening to a talk station on AM in their car. Unfortunately, you won't see too many young listeners of AM radio, which means it's not sustainable in the long term. 
Who is to blame for the demise of AM radio? Well, you can start with the FCC for short spacing AM stations, shrinking the bandwidth, not regulating tuners or sources of interference, but the fact remains that something has to change to help this band survive in the long run. The FCC proposes this solution. Allow AM radio stations to shut off their analog signal and broadcast exclusively in digital. The mindset is that most AM radio stations are already using their FM translators to cover their service area. HD radios are becoming more and more common in newer car models, and for some broadcasters, it's more feasible to broadcast a digital signal rather than an analog signal that may have to be shut off at night. Now, I should make it clear that if the proposal goes through, the FCC is not requiring AM radio stations to go all digital entirely. The stations would just have the option to do so if they wish. I should also add that clear channel stations that broadcast 24-7 at very high wattage probably will not go all digital. This is mainly for the smaller stations that are struggling to maintain listeners. This new proposal is going to be voted this month in October, and now is the time to make your voice heard. Call the FCC or email one of the commissioners to give your input on the proposal. I'm sure most of you already know my thoughts on this issue. Despite how I feel about the band, I know some of you truly care about AM radio. The band does cover rural mountainous areas that FM signals otherwise would not reach. If all stations go digital, it can result in a loss of service to rural areas. Similar to what happened when TV signals went all digital in 2009. So make your voice heard on this subject. Follow my link in the description of this video to contact the FCC now and give your input on this proposal. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. A huge thanks to these folks who support me on Patreon and are members on my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support my YouTube channel while gaining exclusive perks, Click the join button in this video or visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, follow the link in the description of my video to my email list. I don't think AM radio is going away for a while, but just understand that the economics show it's not sustainable in the long term in its current state, and something has to be done. Whether that is allow some stations to go digital, make a requirement for tuners to be better, make all stations go digital, that's what's still up in the air at the FCC, and they are taking public comments. So follow my link in the description to email the FCC about your opinions on this subject. Stay tuned to my channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.